Morning guys. Hey, it's Who Loves and it's Pretty Little Liars Season 5, Episode 15, Fresh Meat. So, you know, Toby is working at this new prison that Ali is going to be at. You know, he hands in the information to the lady at the front desk, whatever. And then he asks why is she being moved to a different prison. And he, Allie was like, you should know how it feels. Like, you know, as soon as the bell rings, it's like fresh meat. It looks like she's been injured on her arm, but I couldn't really tell you or not whether she has. Um, basically, Allie's... She tells that, she tells Toby that A is after the girls. <clears throat> Excuse me. A is after the, gr after the girls now. And it's not, it's not going to be too long that the girls are going to be sitting on this bench with her, too. Um, Toby tells the girls and basically tells them what a Allie said. And they all think that Allie either has somebody that she's working with and stuff. Arya brung up the fact that she did see, she thinks she saw Holbrook and Allie kiss. They... I'm not sure about that. Um, they want to send Toby out to find Holbrook. Spencer's not with that. And we want to see if Holbrook is just in an alley. And also. Hannah basically told the girls that she kissed all broke and you know, he's a bad kisser, well, all that, well, whatever. Right? Arya's at this, <clears throat> Arya's at this art class, you know, Emma and her are talking about Paige, and then they're talking about college. Arya doesn't want to hear nothing about college because she's basically freaking out and she's saying her hair is shedding in clumps. Right? She thinks Allie, or A, basically Allie, has something to do with it, whatever. And Emily gave her a suggestion, like, maybe you should write a letter. And she was saying, no, the letter's not gonna work. Like, this person, Ali's basically trying to keep me here. This man and Jason, you know, they're in the office where she worked out. Jason found out she sent the fax, faxing her resume to, you know, different companies and stuff. He wants her to stay for like a month until he feels comfortable staying working there and having somebody else there. Toby is doing a so um surveillance of Mona's area again. He finds a knife, he covers it up. But mind you, he was talking to Spencer before it, before he hung up. He. He found his knife, his family knife, covered it up, and walked away like there was nothing there. He tells Caleb and Spencer about the knife, and Caleb recognizes the knife because he's used it before. Now, Toby wants to do the right thing and hand it into the thing to see to if it has Ali's prints, it would put it away for good. Spencer and Caleb are against it because... It could, Caleb was like, it could have had my prints. He's trying to save his ass. So I just say it could have any one of the, any anybody else's prints, like Toby's prints, whatever, whatever. Trying to save the butt. So they both make a promise saying that, okay, if they don't go for it, or whatever. And if Toby doesn't go for it and send this to the police, or whatever. Caleb, oh, oh. They all decide to keep quiet about it and act like it's not there. But I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> um, Arya and I guess some dude who either is now owning the brewery or who's the boss of the brewery slash what's going on? I don't know. Um, and besides to be tries to be the new caterer to the store now. And as I was a little iffy about it, I would be too because you just don't automatically volunteer yourself to be 
a cook back there and you don't really cook. I'm just saying. Um, Mrs. Rand gets a call from Allie from the jail. She, Allie wants to talk to Jason. Mrs. Rand asks Jason if he wants to talk to Allie. He says no. Allie tries again. Jason says no. Mrs. Rand said don't let me do it again. Then Jason was like, well, and then it's hard to say no than not, not answering the phone at all. And he doesn't know if he can talk or look at her again because he thinks that Allie would have to do something with his mother's death. Hannah's at her little college store. You know, Caleb tells her about the knife. Why? Because you know she's going to come back and be investigative anyway now. About the knife, she leaves the college store. Um, Aria, she writes her letter. She writes her letter, give it to him to read about, and then call, um, to read it's from the college and then Emily was like make it a little bit more personal. Ezra ever heard that Arya not getting into the college that she wants to be in and Ezra tells that the college that Arya wants to be in her ex his ex girlfriend Jackie or fiance whatever works there. So it's gonna be a little difficult. Spent she shows up at Caleb's house and Bryce are like, why would you tell Hannah now? Hannah's mad at me because I didn't tell her first, and now she had to beg Hannah to not tell Arya and Emily. So, she finds out that Caleb had a past that he got hauled off, for, hauled off to prison for a murder that he did not commit. And he doesn't want to go through that again. And then they find out that Caleb's gonna go find a knife anyway, so Spencer decides to go with him. Um, Emily and Arya, they are hard at work. One's working in the kitchen, one's writing a letter for college. <coughs> Excuse me. And opening, um, Emily tries to convince Ezra. That everything is okay, everything's gonna be. But he knows better. He knows that Emily's struggling. You got stuff on the wall, child. She's like, oh, that's a little experiment. No, you have stuff on the wall because you know you're not doing the things right. Come on now. The empanadas didn't come out right. Hannah goes to this little trailer park where she thinks Holbrook is, and her mom calls for a little bit. She asks this guy who's like cutting up raw meat or whatever, raw meat and stuff, and he goes and he points to where Holbrook might be at. Then sees this little kid and asks for Holbrook. He calls for Papa, which I'm thinking is Holbrook's father. Um, they, she talks to the father, and Hallbrook's father hasn't seen him either, so she knows Hallbrook's not here. She, he's up to something. We all know that. Our PL, all the PL elephants know Hallbrook's up to something. He's up to something. He's doing something. Um, she goes back, well, before that, Caleb and Spencer, they, so looking for the knife and stuff. Hannah goes back to her car. All the doors are open. The teddy bear from her college tour is sewn up. She pulls it. It's the meat that falls out the bear and her toes. Ew. Ew. And the little kids behind her. Arya gives Emily the letter to read, and Emily knows that she shouldn't have put a lot of personal stuff in there, like stuff that could hurt Ezra's feelings. And mind you, she already sent it in, right? Uh huh. 
Ezra hires a, a professional kid, chef, or whatever, and then he's not too fond of her. Spence and Caleb try to dispose the knife in a kettle. You know, when you go to like an art place where they do the clay, clay vases, or like I have a turtle in my room. Turtle in my living room. That I made some like seventh grade. You put it in the kettle to harden the clay and stuff. They try to dispose of it. They try to get to turn it on and stuff. Spencer gets distracted because she heard a noise. Caleb get locked in there, almost about to die of heat. Um. Arya, she talks to Jackie about the weather. She decides to keep it a little secret. That whatever. Spence basically saves Caleb. That's all, and then she turns the kettle back on to just both of the night. Pan talks to Ellie and like basically give her one like look, you don't give a fuck about what you're going through right now. Stop whatever you're doing and leave it alone. And Ellie is basically saying if you think I was that clever, do you think I would be in this jail Do you think I, would ha I wouldn't have a better alibi and stuff? That she relied on her brother. Come on now. I obviously don't believe Allie's age, but I'm kind of tired of Allie anyway. Um. At the party, Emily tries to get Spencer to eat an empanada that has hair in it. Um, the dude from the brewery that was helping y'all fix up the brewery stuff for the party. He basically, Emily, Spencer finds out that he's basically moving into the barn or whatever. Em and the new, um, chef thing, chef they talk. Jason talks to Mr. Merritt, Miss Merritt about some fouls that his mother had about some clients that at least is like three years old or whatever. Ezra Ezra has Arya meet um somebody from a college and Toba Toby, okay. Toby and Spence get into it. And you know, basically, and it's now that he's a cop, she can't tell him everything because it goes against the law and it goes against how what he's hired to do now. Like you can't tell him that you dispose the knife. You can't tell him that because now, if he feels that he has to report it, look where you're gonna be. At. You're gonna be with Allie. So he's trying to protect him. But also, he's trying to tell her, look, Spencer's in tears. He's like, you told me I can tell you everything. Yeah, before he was a cop. Now he's a cop. You gotta be careful about that. Um, this man and Jason, you know, they talk about the files. They talk about how she's gonna be alone in the house now because, you know, Hannah's gonna be wanting to go to college and stuff. And then they end up making out. Okay? They end up making out. I was like, oh. Okay. Jason was going on. You moved from Arya. Now you move into the Mrs. Man. Okay. Um. Emily and Arya talk about the letter. Emily tells Ezra to hire the new chef or caterer or whatever she is. Arya, she sees a college book. And. In the bookmark, what she wrote in the letter, it's a specific part about the teacher and all this stuff. We figured A put it there. Um, you know, she sees the reason and kind of like, okay. Hannah notices that there's two plates in the kitchen and also Jason coming down, unbuttoning his shirt. What was y'all doing? What was y'all doing? You nasty. Um, Allie, she gets a note after she gets a new 
jar closed and it says your friends will see you soon. That's the end of the episode. I cannot wait to the new one because the season so far has been getting good. And hopefully it does ties up everything and answer some questions about who this new A is. Bye guys.